My family will attest to the fact that I am not a morning person and I am always so hungry when I wake up. So basically no one talks to mom until some calories have reached my brain. And I typically work out in the morning so I'm looking for a breakfast that's going to be really gentle on my stomach. And from when I finish my breakfast, I have to wait about an hour before I actually work out just so that I'm not having any extra bubbles or air or digestion that would cause me to burp any more than I already do. I love making my banana smoothie because it's easily digestible, it utilizes several of the superfoods, and it tastes really good, which is a great start to my morning and to boost my mood. So to make this smoothie, I start with almond milk as my base and I add just about half a cup to my blender cup. And then to give it that smoothie consistency and to make it cold, I add four ice cubes. And I take an iron pill in the morning and so to help with that iron absorption, I also add an ice cube of frozen fresh orange juice. So the vitamin C is supposed to help my body absorb the iron. Then I start adding in some of my superfoods. I just add about a tablespoon of flaxseed and I use ground flaxseed because it has to be ground in order for your body to be able to consume it. And then I also add in chia seeds, which are another superfood. And both the flaxseed and the chia seeds are super high in omega-3s, which are super healthy. And I take a hair, skin, and nails vitamin, but they're really big and kind of chalky and I don't like to swallow them. <laughs> so I just add one of them to my smoothie and just let it blend right in and I don't even taste it. And then I also like to add just a small, um, probably about even half a tablespoon of my protein powder. And what this does is add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of sweetness, as well as a little bit of protein. Now I only use protein powders that are naturally sweetened. I don't want any of the artificial sweeteners or anything that sounds like you know, aspartame or anything along those lines. And so this is stevia sweetened and I found that works best for me. And so that's what I always look for in my protein powders. And then add a banana and of course the riper it is the sweeter it is before it goes too brown and seriously people must think we like are raising monkeys in this house because we have so many bananas like i literally keep two buckets <laughs> this is the bucket of the ripening bananas that are not quite ready yet and then this is the bucket of the bananas that no one's supposed to eat because I want them ripe enough that I can bake with them because they are fantastic for naturally sweetening. All right, so let's add our banana here. And then another thing I like to add just to increase the calories of the smoothie, as well as adding in another superfood, is some fresh ground almond butter. And I'm able to get this at my local Winco, just in their bulk food section. And so I just add like a big spoonful of almond butter. It could also be peanut butter. I've used both of them interchangeably. And then I just use one of my banana chunks to help get it off the spoon, get it into my cup here. This is definitely my bestie and workhorse in the kitchen, and that's my Nutribullet. I literally use it at least twice a day. And it comes with these great cups that you can fill. And then the blade is right here. And at this point, it looks like the lid, but you just twist that on, put it on top of the base, and give it a little twist. So I just blend it until I don't hear any little ice cube chunks anymore, which is typically about, oh, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And then open this up and it's just blended in all the chia seeds, the vitamin, the almond butter, everything, and it is so good. And it's naturally sweetened and it's just a great way to start the day. And it's gentle on my stomach and just super satisfying. Mmm. So good.